Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. You may proceed from where you ended from. I know yes. you are talking about the Drug Enforcement Commission. Yes, I was talking about the update. Drug Enforcement Commission yeah. and uh, an update as regards that, that yeah. particular issue. Mm -hmm. So, you ordinarily, these uh, agencies mm -hmm. ought to be independent. But the moment the president said these are going to be under the supervision of State House, he diluted them. He diluted their independence such that now they have to dance to his whims and caprices. He, whatever he says is what they will do. So we go to Drug Enforcement Commission, and obviously the, 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 the clients are interviewed. I have permission to, to, yeah. to speak about this. How and many were those, by the way? Well, oh, the Lungus, yeah. as it were. Now, an interesting thing is, mm. When you say the Lungus, it appears it was the, the entire family. It, 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 is, it, is, it. it is the entire family. We don't even need to segment it. It mm. is the entire family. See, the, the issue is that Mama Esther Lungu, for example, is said to have property suspected to be proceeds of crime. Mm. So you have this book with you. And I come to you and say, this is property suspected to be proceeds of crime. The duty that you have is to explain your source of the money that you use to acquire this book. Yeah. And the police would have to say whether they believe you or they don't. And to determine whether they believe you or they don't, they have to follow up with what you said. So here is Mama Esther Lung, says, you have these 15 flats. We have checked your accounts. And we think you can't afford to buy this. And she tells them, you are right. I can't afford to buy this. The only thing I did, I applied for land at Ministry of uh, uh, Lands. These are the receipts I paid, which monies are well within my means. But my husband built for me. Here he is. The, the former president was there. Ask him. He will explain to you how he built. They asked, who was the contractor who built? She said, I have told you, the person who built is here. And he can explain. He's ready to explain to you. Ask him the questions. They said, ah, you know we can't go that route. And the next thing, we are charging you and arresting you for the offense of being in possession of property suspected to be proceeds of crime. By the way, these are the same matters that are before the, the High Court. You remember that uh, uh, two weeks ago, she was appearing before the same court, and she made an application to say, I want to call witnesses. And amongst those witnesses was President Edgar Chagualungu. The court refused and said, we're going to go ahead with the judgment. Now, this is the same matter that is being brought uh, before Drug Enforcement Commission, this time as a criminal matter. And an explanation has been given as regards that property. Even the children explain to say, listen, my father bought this for me. And the interesting thing is that when Dick is charging, they are saying, we got uh, a valuer, a surveyor, and the surveyor says that this property is worth 26 million kwacha. Now, remember that a surveyor only guesses how much the property is. It is never the exact amount. 
And then an explanation is given to say, listen, this property that you are saying was bought by my father. It was bought by my father for me. And the money that was paid was three million kwacha. The person he bought from, the person who sold this property, is this person and is available to be asked questions as to how much exactly the property costed. They don't even go and ask that person. They say, we are charging you for the offense of being in possession of property suspected to be proceeds of crime. What we had expected is that they would go and ask ECL, ECL, it is said that you built these properties for these people. We have gone through your accounts and we have come to a conclusion that you can't afford. Where did you get that money? Because everything is now pointing at him. Now, this issue of trying to go after his children for purposes of getting to him, for purposes of injuring him, and then vilifying him as a bad person should not be tolerated. That is very wrong. President Hakainde Chilema should stop this. He needs to stop this. He needs to promote reconciliation in this country. He needs to bring people together. He needs to be able to sit down with President Edgar Chagwalunga and say, how did you manage? You also had a drought, but you never went through what I'm going through. Edgar Chagwalunga will tell him, I never sold maize. This time around, keep the maize. Don't sell it, otherwise we'll starve. He would be in a position to advise him. President Hakainde Chilema has never been president. We are fortunate that we have someone who's living who was president before and knows how to run that office. President Hakainde Chilema would be told to say these matters, when the police have done this, let them be. I was in President Lungu's cabinet. And there were certain appointments that were made where us in cabinet would be in a position to say, no, 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 no. But that person is UPND. You can't appoint that person to that board. President Edgar Chagualungu would tell us to say, the question is, is he qualified? Of course he's qualified, we'd have the CVs there. But he's UPND. But then you'd say, can he do the job? And most of the people that were there, though he knew were UPND, he let them be there. If there's a person who's far from being tribal, it's President Edgar Chagualungu. And every person that has worked with President Edgar Chagualungu, he will tell you how he dealt with issues relating to competencies of people and where they come from. He was never in that category of people who looked down on people based on where they came from. But now there's, there are attempts to clothe it on him as though he's the cause of everything that is going on. But yet in this government, we have over 400 people that have been surrendered to cabinet office because they do not seem to be championing the cause of the government. They're being professional, so you put them aside. The only thing you have to do in this government is say that this person was PF. Once they say this person was PF, then you are surrendered to cabinet. We have this curious case of the registrar of societies. The issue of PF. That is an issue that I'm afraid that uh, if SEC is allowed to work independently, PS Matembo would not be PS. Why do you say so? He would not be PS because when we made an application for the names at the Registrar of Societies to be availed to us, as of the 13th of November, we went through the process. The first thing you have to do is pay the, requ the requisite amount. You are given uh, an invoice. Well, you, you make an inquiry, you're given an invoice, you make the payment, you, you take it there, a printout is given out. When we went to get that printout after payment, Matembo, the PS for Home Affairs, Home Affairs mm -hmm. instructed that that should not be done. The lawyers should not be given. When we got the order from court, we were given 
that is the offense that the registrar committed. So now the registrar has been sent home. She is at home. Someone is acting in that position. The person who is in that position is getting paid acting allowance. The registrar is also getting paid. The 400, over 400 people that are languishing at cabinet office that have been surrendered there are getting paid. And those that are acting in those positions are also getting paid. Shouldn't that be an audit query? Shouldn't that be raised by the Auditor General? Mm. Shouldn't those be the issues that we should be dealing with to say, this is where we're bleeding from when it comes to finances. Mm. These monies can be used towards mitigating the effects of the drought instead of getting yet another $400 million. Mm. So the president should be sincere in the manner that he addresses the country, the manner that he addresses people, and face facts as they are, face issues as, as they are, mm. and make prudent steps towards that. See, a democracy is a marketplace of ideas. If you're going to close yourself up to say, I can only listen to these people, but even this, the, the people that surround him, I don't think the president is the kind that listens to them. I think you, you heard what uh, Teres Wampundu said, that they had a meeting for two hours with him, and the whole time he's the one who was talking. I think if he listened just a little bit more, he would make a better president. And we wish for him to be a better president mm -hmm. by putting away all these petty issues, letting institutions of governance function independently. He concentrates on putting the economy back on its track and tell the Zambian people, my legacy is the economy. But today in his address, he says, lastly, let me talk about the economy. I thought it would be first. He should have talked about it first because that's the most niggling thing the most niggling questions as regards the economy. I want to pick up calls, uh, Kanso Zuru, uh, but before that, I think just one question I hope you can answer it within a minute. Um, I know you went ahead of my, my, my script, but I'll still take you back to what transpired at the Drug Enforcement Commission. Yes, and uh, which how, is what I explained, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. how, would, how would you describe the whole incident, the whole script, and how it turned out in the process as you went to represent your clients, in the process, you seem not to be happy in the manner. It is just what President Haka Indechirima said in Parliament. Mm. We shall persecute and prosecute you. And that is what he's doing do to you the former see, president. Do, 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 do we see the former head of state in the name of uh, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu uh, maybe reconciling with the current head of state? I look at all this tension going Let on. me tell you what I think. Yeah, what should be done, really? I don't think it's about President Edgar Chagualungu reconciling mm. with President Haka Ndeichilema. Mm. President Haka Ndeichilema needs to reconcile with himself. He needs to heal. See, everything is about him. Everything is about what he went through. He needs someone to sit down with him to say, listen, let's, look about, let's talk about what you went through. What are the things that you're saying you went through? What was the cause? What was the effect? How could it have been dealt with better? Because even when President Edgar Chagualungu is quiet, there's reason to talk about him. He goes jogging. He says, no, you are a public figure. You can't be going around uh, jogging. That is what his government is saying. You can't be going around jogging. That is political jogging. He goes to church. They say, you can't go to church. He just walks. He merely walks. And he's saying, you are inciting people. Things have not been the same in the place where you walked. You are inciting people. Does that mean that he can't walk? They even deliberately choose to misconstrue an, an innocent statement. When President uh, Edgar Chakwalungu said, it's like I'm under house arrest. I go jogging, they say I can't jog. I go to church, they say I can't go to church. I talk, they say I can't talk. It's like I'm under house arrest. My freedom of movement is restricted. I expected the president to say, what do you mean when you say that? President Edgar Chakwalungu was going to say that, listen, twice I went to the airport and you stopped me from flying out. I was going for my medicals, you stopped me from flying out. I was invited to, at a church service in Dola, and you stopped me from going to church. The whole thing was, was cancelled. I 
I, I, I tried to go jogging. You stopped me from jogging. He was going to explain that to me. And to, I understand this to mean I live a life as though I should not go anywhere. I can't associate with anyone. I can't uh, be in a public place. It, 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 it just defies all logic. Look at how stupid that police officer looked for going in a bishop's office and say, you can't hold a meeting. You didn't tell us. Then the next thing, the, uh, uh, Jack Mwimbu, the, the, uh, another worst disappointment ever, comes and says, no, we, we want to provide him with security. You want to provide him with security? You are the one who withdrew his security. You said, you are in active politics, we have withdrawn your security. IG says, if we wanted to arrest him, we would use his ADC. But the ADC doesn't work for you. All that security which uh, President Edgar Chagwalungu has is his own initiative, his own arrangement, and not the police. Why are you breathing hot and cold at the same time? You withdrew the security, and you want to say we are providing you security. Maybe I've come to an understanding today after the IG said that it is because of the other side that the opposition are not being allowed. The security threat that we have right now is the other side, which we understand to mean the UPND. And that the president must address because he only has one year and 11 months and he's all alone. No minister will just be in a campaign mode. Everyone will be in a campaign mode. And then people will talk. Right now, people are quiet. And when people are quiet, don't think you have subjugated them. Don't think you have brought them under your control. They know how to speak. And when the time is right, they will speak. And when they speak, they may not speak in your favor. They will speak against you. Castle, permit me to just spend 10 minutes. We pick up some calls and uh, hear or uh, get feedback from the viewers. I have my first caller already. Caller, good evening and uh, welcome to the program. Tell us your name, please, and where are you calling us from? Yes, I'm a concerned citizen. Where are you calling us from? Where are you calling us from, concerned citizen? Yes, I'm calling from Eastern Province, Petauke. Please go ahead, you've got a minute. Yes, it's very true what the, the council is talking about. Mm. Very, very much true. Uh, in the sense that now the former president is really more like he's in the house prison. No movement, no whatever participation, no, no good air from the environment. What the government is doing is an injury, very, very deeper injury. They need to rethink and do what is correct because each one of us is watching. And remember that Zambia is a Christian nation. In a Christian nation, we cannot have such people who can be in higher position and creating such a thing that can be a case even to the coming generation. So what the, the, the State Council is, is talking about uh, is talking of a good and straightforward thing. As you conclude, you may conclude. Democracy in Zambia has been looted. There is no democracy and people are suffering. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, you can call us. The number is right on the screen. I have uh, Honorable Mathe Bizulu, who is a renowned lawyer, uh, of course, analyzing a number of issues pertaining to the uh, press briefing or press conference, which the President Akendi Shema had. Call good evening and uh, welcome to the program. Good evening, please. Good evening. Tell us your name, please, and where you're calling us from. This is the firm of Mandara, senior citizen. Senior citizen, please go ahead. You've got a minute. Welcome to good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. I'm glad what you are saying is exactly what is presenting in this country. But now, my question to you, sir, is who is this, that kind of a president? You are not the only one that have heard such kind of view. Even from other citizens have complained in the same. It's one man to show. 
you are saying our citizens are free in this country. It's just people like you who must give guidance. If you have a ruler who behaves in this way, citizens must react in such and such way. I think that provision should be provided. Because surely, what is happening in this country is it, 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 something that we have never seen before. I want you to comment on UCA. What is UCA now today? Given this kind of operation, the master station has been that is the name is something Musamba. Because I still recall this other one who was made paper for National Assembly. When he was only two of those employees, he said, Don't you worry with what people talk about, just go ahead. You should not be worried. You may conclude. Don't you may conclude. Don't allow them. I thank you. Thank you so much, a senior citizen. I appreciate you. All right, permit me, um, Honorable, to pick up uh, two more calls. From there, you give um, your reaction. Call up, good evening, and uh, welcome to the program. Uh, hello, Mr. IP. This is Mr. Matias here in Kapanada. Go ahead, Mr. Matias. Yeah, so, uh, I'm very happy for what Mr. Uh, hello? Yes, please, who can hear you? All right. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, in our nation, things are not going well, and things are bad. And my own warning to current president, our uh, president HH, is that what he's doing to uh, Mr. Edgar de Guarum. He's not doing against him, but he's doing against the nation, because the nation is the one who needs him. So for whatever which uh, Mr. HH is doing, maybe being organizing his uh, youth to do such kind of uh, bad things against him, after what I would, what I would say is that he's doing against the citizens of this nation. <coughs> so what I want to say is that I can tell me Tima Pansi, Otherwise, something can happen very as possible. Because as people outside here, we are not happy for the way things are moving. If you talk about the uh, economy, mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, why? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going You may conclude. All right, thank you so much. Uh, we don't wish to have a civil war in the country, so let's ensure that we moderate ourselves. Um, all right, this is my last caller. Caller, good evening, and uh, welcome to the program. I'm not state council, I can just uh, uh, call me Makebe or, yes, or council, that, that would do. You may conclude.
right. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. All right. Let me just read a few messages uh, that have come through my inbox. Uh, this one is saying, um, good evening, IP and Kanso Makebi. What did the president mean by saying he's, he's got uh, people in all WhatsApp groups? Are we now in a police state? There's a question mark there. There's no name. Uh, let me pick up some more text if I can. Um, this is saying um, some people are senseless, just like the president uh, was expressing himself today. He really showed hopeless the people of Zambia at a time when the citizens are suffering. He went on talking about ECL and the PF, Kwamana. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, this is saying uh, good evening. I'm Sam from Flira. I'm, stu I'm a student at Kubabota. Uh, prof profession. I'm doing uh, a driving under CDF from uh, February until now. Uh, nothing has been done. Please, can you speak to the Mr. Gary Combo and his council to put his house in order? We've, we've not gotten our monies up to now, right? Uh, this is saying uh, IP, good evening, and um, Council Makebi, good program. Please uh, keep it up respect all right maybe you may just give your reaction all right to what has come through i know that uh, this could be lot shedding uh trying to disrupt our interview but we can oh, conclude the uh, minutes. let me conclude by saying that these sentiments or perhaps i should have addressed the president hmm. mr president you have an opportunity to lead this country this opportunity and this time of five years you were given is lapsing. You can do better if you stop concentrating on fixing others and fix the economy. You promise to deal with the issue of milli mill. You promise to deal with the issue of uh, our economy to make the dollar better. You promise the farmers that would improve uh, their the, 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 the livelihoods in, in terms of inputs. You promised uh, a lot of things that Zambians are looking forward to, which they have not seen. You lose the plot. You lose uh, the game when you concentrate on things that you ought not to concentrate on. Right. Leave President Edgar Chagwalungu alone. Let democracy prevail. Learn from those that you believe have the best democracies and implement that in this country. And you will be appreciated. The trajectory you've gone on only leads to disaster, and you may not make it in 2026 on this trajectory. Let's please work for the people of Zambia and give them a Zambia that they want, not a Zambia of vengeance. Thank you, Thank you so much. I appreciate you for coming through. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Great. Allow me to also thank all of you for having taken your time to send us um, some messages via our inbox and also our social media platform, KBN TV. Thank you so much. May God bless Zambia. May God bless Mother Africa tonight. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.